Hi everyone, my name is Maria Martinez and I'm an Evolved Learning Strategist with Planet Technologies. I'm here today to talk to you about the difference between OneDrive for Business and SharePoint and when you should be storing files in which location. So when we're thinking about OneDrive for Business, we want to think me. This is where you should be storing your own personal work documents. So if you, for instance, have draft documents that you're not ready to share with a larger audience, or if you have documents that have no need for collaboration, those documents should live in your OneDrive for Business. Some organizations have what they call a P drive or a personal drive. This is how you can think of your OneDrive for Business. The advantage of storing the documents in OneDrive is that it stores the documents in the cloud and you have access to them from anywhere on any device. So can you share from OneDrive? Absolutely you can, but you wanna limit that sharing to just a few people. When you're ready to share with a large audience, that's when the document should move over to SharePoint. So when we think about SharePoint, we want to think we. This is a collaboration space where we can share our documents with the entire team, and the entire team can work together, have the latest version of the document, co-author in real time, track changes, and even have conversations about the document within the document. So there's no sifting through email to figure out who has the latest version of the document, everyone always has the latest version because it's uploaded to SharePoint. It makes collaboration seamless. So when we're thinking about OneDrive for Business, we want to think me. Those are your own personal work documents. When we think of SharePoint, we want to think we. That's where we're going to be storing documents that we need to collaborate with, with our team members. I hope this helps.